In her day, the USS Plainview was considered the world's largest hydrofoil. It was also the US Navy's first hydrofoil research vessel. The secrets of the USS Plainview's history are therefore particularly interesting. To this day, the ship impresses as much as it fascinates. But what exactly is a hydrofoil? That's what we're going to explain to you on ATEC. So please stay with us for the rest of this video. So why is this vessel making such an impression? Quite simply because of its impressive design. What's more, it features a very rare combination of engines for a ship of this era. After all, the year was 1964. Let's not forget that the USS Plainview is a military hydrofoil. Its objectives were therefore defined in advance. It was a major asset for the US military. It's also the center of experimental programs. It's partly for this reason that it was important for us to present a ship like this on the channel. Despite her great power, the USS Plainview retired from the military scene in 1978. For many years, her wreck was completely abandoned in Oregon. Nevertheless, the return of hydrofoils to France should come as a surprise to many. What does this extraordinary flying boat have in store for us? As you've probably gathered by now, the USS Plainview has many secrets in store for us. First, let's discover the true definition of a hydrofoil. What is a hydrofoil? It refers to a type of a boat in which the hull rises and maintains its equilibrium out of the water. This phenomenon only occurs when the vessel reaches a certain speed. Do you know how this is possible? It's thanks to the lift of a set of submerged wings, otherwise known as foils, which work in the same way as the wings of an aircraft. If the drag is no longer in contact with the hull, this technique not only increases boat speed, but also reduces fuel consumption. For those of you not familiar with fluid mechanics, we'd like to remind you exactly what drag is. It's a force that opposes the movement of a body in a liquid or gas. As such, it is similar to friction. More simply, it corresponds to the force component exerted on the body, in opposition to the fluid. The latter is none other than all the liquids present in the body. They help transport nutrients and expel waste from the cells. Returning to our hydrofoil, the USS Plainview was designed as a part of a project established on May 8, 1964 by Lockheed Shipbuilding and Construction Company, the Washington-based shipyard. This company is a subsidiary of the world-famous Lockheed Corporation, renowned for its military aircraft. Overall, at $21 million, this design is particularly impressive. The USS Plainview project took root on June 28, 1965. Sponsored by American naval aviator John T. Hayward, she was commissioned on March 3, 1969. She takes her name from two small American neighborhoods. One is east of New York City on the north shore of Long Island, while the other is in northern Texas. The USS Plainview resembles a naval patrol boat with two folding, wing-like extensions. This makes it the world's fastest hydrofoil. It was initially conceived as a response to Soviet nuclear-powered submarines which were also equipped with nuclear weapons. Construction of the USS Plainview was overseen by one of the most brilliant engineering teams of the 20th century. With Lockheed Shipbuilding and Construction Company investing $140 million. At the time, however, the USS Plainview was not designed for great success. It was ships like the F-104 and the SR-71 that were in the spotlight. According to the United States Navy's theories, these fast, very large hydrofoils would have the ability to steer towards enemy vessels. The objective was simple, launch a devastating strike, even before Soviet nuclear ballistic missiles could be primed. With this in mind, the USS Plainview was equipped with an extremely impressive combination of engines. Never before has a motorized vehicle on land or at sea had such a mechanical combination. Two marine diesel engines are fitted with titanium propellers. These then propel the vessel in the manner of a standard seagoing vessel. When the hydrofoil fins deploy, a pair of General Electric LM1500 free turbine engines take over. These were based on the J79 engines found on the Lockheed F-104 and McDonnell Douglas F-4. They enabled the 315-ton USS Plainview to glide over the water at an estimated top speed of 40 knots. That's almost 80 kilometers an hour. For ships of the mid-1960s, this speed was unrivaled. Even today, it remains very impressive. From her home port of Bremerton, Washington, 
she has logged no fewer than 268 hours at sea on her hydrofoils. These figures have yet to be equaled. As a military hydrofoil, the USS Plainview's objectives were defined in advance. How did hydrofoils become an indispensable part of the military? Military hydrofoils very quickly became an indispensable weapon of war for any army. As a result, several Soviet and Chinese models were being built in large numbers. Even before the USS Plainview saw the light of day, Boeing built hydrofoils powered by an 18,000 horsepower turbine. These ships were capable of sailing at more than 48 knots. That's 89 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, they were deemed far too costly to operate, and production soon came to a halt. Subsequently, the USS Plainview, with its 67 meter length and super powerful 28,000 horsepower machinery, really marked the success of hydrofoils. She thus represented a major asset for the US military. It played a decisive role in the United States' advance against the Soviet armed forces, which were considered extremely powerful. Indeed, they were in possession of nuclear missiles. The arrival of the USS Plainview completely revolutionized the civilian sector. They also marked the beginning of considerable progress in hydrofoil technology. The USS Plainview even conducted long-term experimental programs. The aim was to evaluate the principle of hydrofoil design and develop possible manufacturing tactics. A doctrine was also put in place. This determined the feasibility of hydrofoil operations on the high seas. Despite this assertive power, the success of the USS Plainview was short-lived. The hydrofoil was decommissioned on September 22, 1978. On September 30th of the same year, she was permanently struck from the Navy Register. It was then bought by a private investor for the modest sum of $128,000. Then the USS Plainview's lover, Lowell Stanbaugh, rushed to buy her back. He intended to use the ship as a fishing boat. Unfortunately, the interest on a loan forced him to sell it for scrap. In fact, he had the plain view partially dismantled. In particular, its fins were removed. Today, the USS Plainview lies abandoned in Oregon. What remains of its hull is submerged in the mudflats of a private property at the junction of the Columbia River. This has given rise to much debate. Some fervent environmentalists regularly express their concerns about the wreck. The remains of the ship's oil and rusty metal could pollute and even poison the local ecosystem. When the USS Plainview was built, lead and asbestos were commonplace. Corrosion is about to break the ship's hull, which is expected to spill into the surrounding waters. Perhaps it would have been wiser to display it as a historic monument rather than leave it to decay. However, some have decided to bring hydrofoil vessels back into fashion. Completely shelved in the United States, the USS Plainview doesn't seem to have said its last word, and France isn't having any of it. In 1976, French sailor Eric Tabarly drew his first sketch of a hydropter made in France. In 1985, sailor Alain Thibault took over the design of the yacht. The first version of a hydropter was launched in 1995. After a number of failures, the yacht completed its first outing with no breakages and set a speed record. It soon became the fastest sailing boat in the world. On September 4th, 2009, she broke the 50 knot nautical sound barrier in Hieras. Between 2012 and 2015, she made numerous attempts to set a speed record for the Pacific crossing between Los Angeles and Honolulu, but all these attempts ended in failure. In 2015, it was abandoned in a Hawaiian port. Nevertheless, in 2019, an enthusiast decided to buy it back and repatriate it to France. He is Gabriel Terras. He plans to reassemble the behemoth of the seas and renovate it in Nantes, turning it into an engineering research laboratory. La Hidoptère is due to be relaunched in 2024 to mark its 30th anniversary. Is this the sign of a comeback for hydrofoil vessels? That's it, we've come to the end of this video, and we hope you found it useful to discover the secrets of the USS Plainview's history. Does the USS Plainview have a chance of returning to service? Please let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. We look forward to hearing from you. See you soon on ATEC.